So in this second part of this interview, we're going to be talking to a Simon Liu, um, and he's going to be going through the low voltage side of uh, Inner Science um, GAN devices. Thank you for having me here. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Take so, it away. So I think there are a couple of major trends, market trends that we're seeing in the market today, right? So the first one is the data center, yep. that uh, the big data, everything is increasing in power, yep. right? And then right now, a big trend that we're seeing is that the PSU from the server side, they're going down to, they're uh, converting down to 48 volt instead of 12 volt. So then that leaves the server uh, board power ah, needing to convert. Reducing the current load and then you're reducing the heat. Correct, yeah. that's correct. Ah, In the transmission, so you have a lower loss. Yes. Right. So then now that uh, the issue now is how do you convert from 48 volt down to 12 volt, which is yeah. what the boards need. So um, I have here on my hand here is the uh, power module that we developed with GAN. tiny. So with this little tiny board, this thing uh, for current generation, this board can uh, deliver 600 watts of power. Okay. And then for the next generation that we're working on, it's going to be a thousand watt in the same size. So this is going to help. Um, a thousand watts. Yes, a thousand watts for the next generation that we're wor already working on. That's unbelievable. Right. And then to keep, in order to maintain that kind of power, going to higher power, you know, GAN is going to provide significant advantage over silicon MOSFETs well, in I, terms of size. Well, that clearly demonstrates it. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Right. Thousand okay. watts. Yep, so these are available uh, right now and then we're working on a thousand watt. That'll yep. be available later, okay? And then the next mega trend is the USB PD 3.1. Right. So from USB PD 3.0 to 3.1, the voltage level increases and the power level also increases. Right. That leaves um, the onboard charging, uh, you need a buck boost. Yep. So with higher voltage, you need a higher voltage MOSFET. Yep. And then those aren't really available like, in a, like not many players have these uh, high voltage MOSFETs. But for GAN, when the voltage is higher, we bring significant benefits. So we developed these um, uh, evaluation boards with our GAN FETs on board. And these, uh, compared to silicon MOSFETs, we provide significant advantage, like yeah. higher efficiency, smaller solution size. Okay, and then, uh, so these go, this board goes up to 150 watt, where uh, and these are using our 40 volt uh, QFN uh, GAN FETs, right? And then for higher power going up to the full 240 watts, we have to use our 100 volt uh, GAN devices. All right. So just to, to confirm, the QFM package I can see in the middle of that board, mm -hmm. that's the, that, is that the GAN device? The, the GAN device, yes. Yeah. These four. Yeah, these, this four. Right. And that's 100 watts? That's a, this, this board is 150 watts. Wow. Right. So and compared to silicon MOS, as we're smaller uh, in packet size, and the overall solution size can be much smaller as well. But at the same time, we provide higher efficiency and better thermal performance. It, 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 is, it is strange to see how electronics have very quickly gone from... Uh, do you know, I'm, I'm absolutely blown away by the fact that you've got a board <laughs> that size doing 150 watts, and then that one was going to do 1,000. I, I just can't get over that. Yeah. It makes complete sense why, in the next sort of five years, engineers need to start jumping over to GAN, yes. like those kind of technologies. Yes, that's correct. Because we think that silicon, while I think uh, it's good in performance, but in order to cramp more high power, you know, higher voltage into the same form factor, GAN really provides that benefit that's needed. Yeah. So if engineers wanted to get into uh, GAN devices sold by Inner Science, what would you recommend? So uh, depending on, I think, start by contacting us. Yeah. Let us know what they need. Yeah. And then uh, I think we can provide, we have extensive technical team ready to support our customers. Yeah. To figure out exactly what they need and provide technical support. Right. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, I think that's all we have time for today, but thank you ever so much for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.